Hey there Dev Squad Virtus here and welcome back to my FPS tutorial series. Within today's video, we are going to be taking a look at how we can set up the body for a zombie AI character. So having said that, these simple AI that we've got over here, we are going to be converting them to a zombie. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on importing the mesh for the zombie and all of the animations and chucking that into an animation blueprint which is going to completely transform the look of our simple AI. By the end of this video, your simple AI are going to have the zombie body and they are going to have walking, idling and running animations and you're going to be able to see all of this in your game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring this to life. So the first thing that you're going to need is the latest version of the FPS asset files. You can download all of these in the link in the description from our website. Within here, what we have is a zombie character and also some zombie animations that we're going to be using. So we're going to start off by importing these. So having said that, what we're going to do is within our content folder, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to give this the name zombie. And this is just going to go directly in the main content folder. So if it's not there already, just move it. Once we've done this, what we're going to do is grab our zombie underscore character and then drag and drop this into our content browser to import it. When you are importing it, make sure import materials and textures is checked and make sure that this is a skeletal mesh and it is importing the mesh at the same time. Once you've done this, go ahead and press import. Give it a couple of seconds to load up and then we are going to have the zombie character that we are going to be using for our game. Okay, so our character is just finished importing and we can take a look exactly what we're working with. Close the message log and then open up zombie underscore character. And then with this, what we should have is this zombie character, which is a police officer. And this is kind of cool and this is what our AI is going to be based off. At the moment, we have just got one character model for now, but if you have other character models for zombies, this is something that you can add if you want to. But for now, I just want to make sure this is imported correctly, all the materials and textures are looking good. Once we've done this, what we can do now is actually move on to importing the animations we're going to be using. So having said that, open up your zombie folder and then select zombie attack, idle, running and walking. And then just drag and drop to import those into our content browser. For the skeleton, make sure this is set to zombie underscore character underscore skeleton and then just go ahead and import all of these. Once again, this is going to take a couple of seconds and once it has done, go ahead and start opening these up to view them. So you can see here, our zombie attack animation is all good and the next animation which is zombie idle, that is all good as well and the same is going to be for our running and our walking. So now we've imported all of these, what we need to do is move on to creating a blend space. A blend space is essentially going to merge the walking and the running and the idle depending on the speed of the character. So let's go ahead and do just that. So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to create a animation blend space and we're going to be using the skeleton for the zombie character. We're going to give this the name walk slash or walk run underscore bs and then once we've done that open this up and we can start plotting our animations so the first thing we need to do within our animation blend space is set up our axes so we've got our horizontal and our vertical our vertical we are going to give the name speed and you can see me doing this under asset details on the left and then our horizontal axes we're going to give this the name direction now, we're not actually going to be utilizing the direction axes at the moment. We're just going to be moving the zombie forwards. So what we're going to do for our minimum and maximum under speed, we're going to set this to zero for the minimum and then 600 for the maximum. And then once we've done this under our asset browser in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we are going to grab zombie idle and put this down to the zero point. And then with our zombie walking, we are going to drag this over to the 300 point, which is slap bang in the middle. 
And then moving on from there, our zombie running is going to be up at the top at 600. So if we hold down left shift and then move our mouse from the bottom at the zero point all the way up to the 600 point, you can see that zombie gradually getting faster and faster as you get to the top there. So we are going to leave things here just like that. So we're going to close that up and we can start utilizing this as part of an animation blueprint. So having said that, we're going to go back to our content browser and we're going to right click and create an animation blueprint, which is going to, which is going to contain all the animation data and blueprints telling the engine which animations to play and how to play them. So as part of the process of creating the animation blueprint, you need to select which skeleton we're working with. And for us, this is the zombie underscore character underscore skeleton that we just imported. We are going to give this a name, zombie underscore character underscore anim bp. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up. And just like any other animation blueprint, we are going to need to create a state machine. So right click and type in state machine. Just like that. And then you want to hook up your pose into the result here. And once you've done this, open up your state machine and we're going to create one state for now. So this one state is simply going to be movement. And then if we open this up, what we can do is inside of here, we can actually hook up our blend space that we just created, which is going to control whether the zombie should be in the idle, walking or running state. So go over to your asset browser, grab your walk run blend space, and then just hook this up to the result. Now what you're going to notice is it's asking for direction and speed. Now these are things that you've got to produce yourself and we're going to be doing this in the event graph. So essentially what we're going to be doing is taking information from the blueprint so it knows how to assign these animations. So it's going to be taking data and then that data we're going to be feeding into the blend space so it knows what speed to make that animation run at or which animation to choose. So from event blueprint begin update animation what we're going to do is we are going to cast to the simple AI character. The simple AI character is what we're going to be using for this zombie. For the object wildcard, drag out and try get the pawn owner. Once you've done this, as simple AI, we are going to get two things. So the first one is get actor rotation. And the second thing we're going to do is get velocity. And with these two, we are going to be able to use with these two, we are going to be able to get two things. We are going to get the direction and we are going to get the speed. And that is what we are feeding into our blend space. So first things first, we're going to right click and calculate the direction. And once you've done this, hook up the execution pin of cast to simple AI to calculate direction, your velocity, you want to put it into velocity and then rotation, put it into rotation. And then with the return value, the result of this, we are going to promote this to a variable and give it the name direction. So make sure you spell that correctly as well, unlike me, so direction. And then what we're going to do next is convert our velocity into speed that we can use. So get velocity and what we're going to do with this is use vector length. And then with vector length, we're simply going to promote this to a variable that we can use. And we are going to give this the name speed. And just like that, we are now good to go. So if we head over to our movement state, what we can do is hook up our direction to direction, speed to speed, just like that. And if I go ahead and hit compile, you are going to notice our zombie is going to jump straight into its idle pose or idle animation. And the reason for that is simply because the speed is currently set to zero in the preview. In the bottom left, in the bottom right hand corner, if I go to my preview and start turning up my speed, you are going to see the zombie is going to start walking. And then if you turn it all the way up, it's going to start running. So 
That is pretty much the basics of our zombie setup. So what we need to do now is replace the body of the simple AI we created previously with the body of this zombie. So select one of your simple AI. So select one of your simple AI, and then what you want to do is browse to the asset, open it up, and then go to your viewport. Within here, select your simple AI, go to mesh, and you want to set this to your newly created zombie character. And then, because there's no animation data at the moment, set your anim class underneath the animation tab to your zombie character anim BP, hit compile, and then if you jump into the game, you are gonna notice they are now your zombies. If you go ahead and press play, as soon as they start running, you are gonna notice they're gonna start playing the correct animation. So you can see he's running about, he is walking to start with, and then he's just sort of messing about. Now, one thing that you can do with your zombie to make the transition from idling to running a little bit smoother is set your interpolation time. To do that, open up your animation blueprint, sorry, open up your blend space, and then what you wanna do underneath your axis settings, interpolation time for horizontal and vertical, set these both to one. Now, one other thing that we're gonna do with our zombie, because we don't want it to be able to run as fast as it is at the moment, is we are actually going to be reducing the max walk speed because they move quite quick for zombies. So what we're gonna do is go into our blueprint for that simple AI. So browse to asset, open this up, and then we're gonna select the character movement component. And then we're gonna find our max walk speed. So you can find it underneath character movement and walking. We're gonna change this from 600. So let's just find this from 600. And we're gonna change this down to about 400. And then we're gonna go and hit compile. And then once that's done, press play and we should be able to see how our zombies are looking from here. Now you'll notice they look like they're sliding on the floor because their feet aren't moving quick enough at the speed they're going at. So what we're gonna do is reduce the speed that our running animation is gonna come into play. And we're gonna be doing this inside of our blend space yet again. So what we're gonna do is go back to our zombie folder, go to our blend space, and then with that, we're just going to grab the zombie running and bring it down to about 300. So move your walking to 150 and running to 300. Once you've done this, we can go ahead and press play to try this again. Take a look at our zombies and you'll notice now it is a lot more natural. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. There is still loads more that we need to set up, such as getting them to attack the player with an animation and damage the player as well. Stay tuned for the next episode, but for now guys, as usual, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.